You know, right now I'm at my sister's swim practice and I'm watching these special needs kids just swim their hearts out and doing things to their full potential. You know, we all have potential, potential of doing something, but a lot of times we do things half-heartedly because we don't think our time needs to be so invested in that area. But in reality, if you do things half-heartedly, that shows how much you love God and how much you care for yourself and how much you care for whatever you're doing that you're doing half-heartedly. You know, in the Bible it says, if you love me, you'll do everything to your best ability or something along that line. And I look back on my life and I look at my past jobs and I look at... Um, my classwork and my schoolwork, I did things, a lot of things half-heartedly, and I'll own up to that, you know. In middle school and high school, I didn't really start to care about school until the, towards my 10th and part of, part of 10th, part of junior and senior year. I just didn't care. I didn't care if I passed. I didn't care if I failed. But in my back in my head, I did care. I just didn't want to care because I didn't care about life. I didn't care about the destiny and the calling that God had for me. I didn't believe that I was worthy of good things. But, you know, I've had teachers and people in my life that showed me otherwise. I am worthy of so many great things. And I have such a great destiny. And I am thankful that God showed me that I do have that and that I am called to big and great things. And we all are to some degree, but a lot of times we do have, we do things half-heartedly, so in our mind we think, okay, we do it half-heartedly, that means we should get the best results, but that's not always the case, because if we do things half-heartedly, we get half-heartedly results. So I challenge you, the next time you do something, don't do it half-heartedly, do it wholeheartedly, do it the way that God would do. And do everything that you do out of love, the love that you have towards that person that you're doing it for, or that job that you're doing it, or just more, most, most importantly, have respect for yourself. Because if you do things half-heartedly, that shows how much you care about yourself and the things that you're doing. So I just challenge you to do things to your best ability, not do it half-heartedly, but do it wholeheartedly. See y'all later.